Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Jesus TV. Thank you so much for always coming around for viewing my channel. If this is your first time of viewing my channel, thank you so much for coming around. And please subscribe to my channel. If you're a return subscriber, God bless you. Thank you for sticking with me. Okay, so um, I stumbled on the gist about Queen Naomi's mother deceiving her to marry the king. And a lot of things were actually said. And how Queen Naomi told the king that the Holy Spirit actually told her that she was the right woman for him. And yes, I agree with her. To disagree with her. And she said... Queen Naomi being a 20 years old girl that the mother shouldn't have allowed her to marry a 40 something years old man and reasons being that the kind of person that the king is and reasons also being that Queen Naomi being a born again Christian right from childhood the Bible forbids it she couldn't have treaded that path once again, I agree with her to disagree with her. First of all, by law, at 20, Queen Naomi is an adult. And for someone who is being led by the Holy Spirit and who has never given the mother any reason to doubt her judgment, her mother can only pray for her, but cannot make decisions for her. Yes, Mao, I agreed. I agree with everything that you actually said about when Naomi treading a dangerous path. But if God says you should go, which means He has prepared. The devil before you. You will make the river flow in the desert for your sake. Of course, we saw the evidence. By the grace of God, she had a child for the king. She has a child, sorry, for the king. A baby boy. Which she actually told the king. That she would be the one to bring forth a son for him. God confirmed his words. But at the, at, the, at the road, if human being, that is, let me say, if the king decides to deviate from the road, from the mark, which God, which God wants for him, if God decides to withdraw from him, you can't tell God what to do. So I'm using that as a scenario of what might have actually transpired between what Queen Naomi said, God said she should do this, and at the end of the day, God perfected his words, and she decided that, or God decides that, my daughter, at this junction, I cannot lose you. Come out. This human being does not want to be repaired. I'm using this as a scenario. I didn't say I disagree with you totally, ma. I said I agreed to disagree with you, giving you my own point of view. Now, Queen Naomi's mother does not have any say in this. She cannot tell her daughter, who has never given her any reason to panic, that this decision she's making is wrong. So judging the queen's mother is like you pouring water on a stone. Because as a mother at 20 years old, for me at 20 years old, my mother can only tell me this is bad and this is bad. Okay, choose. My mother doesn't make decisions for me. 
Because I've never given her any reasons to doubt me. Do you understand? So, even when I left for university, I was very young. She didn't have any, any reason to panic. She could only pray for me. And so I think this is the same thing that happened to Queen Naomi's mother. So people judging her, saying that it was all because of poverty that made Queen Naomi go into marriage with the king. I disagree. I disagree with you. Because for a woman like that to have trained her children, for her parents to have trained them to that level, they have tried. You can't say it was because of poverty. No. And if you say because it is a a it is bread and butter. Like when Naomi was a sacrificial lamb, I disagree with you. These are two people who were, who are in love with each other. So when Naomi can, could have easily said, I'm not doing. Because I feel in this situation, her love for the king could be actually more than the love the king had for her. No doubt, these two people were actually in love and could still be in love. But I, could, I kept saying this. They decided to keep things out of the social media. But a lot of people will still say, you don't know what you're saying. These are people that are in love. I keep telling people, husband and wife issues. You cannot tamper with it. With the way the king carried Queen Naomi, you could see that he actually loved her and she loves him. So, <clears throat> people's decisions could be part of the reasons and why when Naomi and her husband had an issue. You cannot say she was an immature girl when she married good and the king. She could be naive, yes, as a 20 years old girl. But what she actually did on social media could be out of jealousy. When someone truly really loves someone, she will do everything possible to guard what she loves. So, ma, in this saying that Queen Naomi's mother pushed her daughter to go and marry the king because of poverty, I think you, your decisions, as in your points, were actually on point, but I don't think so. I disagree with you on this because at 20 she's an adult for someone who has never given her mother the reasons to doubt her mm -hmm. for someone who is being led by the holy spirit it was totally queen naomi's decision and her mother only respected her decision and people saying that she went there for poverty because of poverty it was a poverty alleviation or and uh, what do they call it program to take away poverty for home for parents that have actually trained their children to that extent no ma it could not be poverty let's look at from the other side it could be love at first sight. Yes, my wonderful people. Thank you all for always coming around. Thank you all for viewing my channel. <clears throat> I will continue this gist because the gist is so long. I will continue this gist for my next video. 
because the chase is so long and there are a lot of people, a lot of things that we actually need to address because most people are not actually getting this. They are only seeing this from their own point of view, which could only add up or could not add up. So please, my wonderful people, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. Thank you all so much for coming around. Have a nice day.